Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is MacDNS malware. Today's uh, video is actually a two for one as I have two security issues that both involve Mac OS X or Mac OS computers. The first and arguably the most important is a new piece of Mac malware that the researcher that found it is calling Mommy. A researcher named Patrick Wardell found a new Mac malware variant, which he called Mami, which is essentially something called DNS Changer malware. If you actually do get this malicious program on your Mac OS or OS X computer, it's actually going to change the servers your computer uses for domain name lookups. And this essentially means bad guys can man in the middle all your traffic. They can redirect anything you do on the internet to some sort of malicious server. And and they typically do this to redirect your web traffic to either some sort of malicious drive-by download site or some other ad revenue generating site that somehow turns into revenue for them. Now, DNS changer malware is not new. It's affected Windows PCs for a long time. It's even affected OS X machines as well, but this is a new variant. And when uh, Patrick Wardell found this on January 11th, it actually was one that security software, at least antivirus products, did not detect. By the way, besides being DNS changer malware, apparently this malware can also allow attackers to download additional stuff on your computer. The good news is it should be relatively easy for you to find since you can actually look at your DNS settings to see if you use some of the malicious DNS IPs that this particular malware uses. So what are the practical tips for this uh, particular threat? Well, at the time of writing, when Patrick Wardell first found this, antivirus alone was not good enough to find it. I will say, as of today, about 26 of 59 antivirus vendors do find it. And by the way, if you're a WatchGuard customer, both of the antivirus virus vendors that we use in our products, whether you use our older firmware or our newer firmware, do actually catch this malware. More importantly, if you're a customer that has APT blocker, which is something that does more proactive behavioral based detection of malware, our APT blocker does also catch this today. So long story short, antivirus, especially advanced malware protection, should be able to catch and block this threat. Now, while we're talking Mac security, I promised a two for one. The second issue is a new vulnerability in Mac OS, a yet another password bypass vulnerability. You probably remember a few weeks ago when there was a system preference vulnerability that allowed a local user to easily bypass a password check and get root privileges on any Mac OS computer. Now, Apple has since fixed that, but recently another researcher found another similar flaw also in the system preferences. But this time it was specifically in the system preferences around the App Store, and it's kind of a less severe password bypass vulnerability. Long story short, this flaw only works for users that already have admin privileges, but if they do have admin privileges, they can make changes to your App Store settings without actually having to re-enter uh, the local or root password. So it's another password bypass issue, not really as big as the last uh, local root flaw, but one I'm hoping that Apple will fix soon. Anyways, that's it for today's OS X related security news. Thank you for watching.